Hey everyone, what is up? Here I am with Coaster Kitty. I figured it would be a nice holiday treat for you guys. Anyway, similar to how we've reviewed movies from our own collection, even though this is called Fresh from My Library for... I just liked alliterations at the time, and I still do. We're reviewing Christmas... I'm reviewing Christmas Vacation. Um, this movie is the third vacation, fourth vacation movie I've seen out of the six. Um, I saw the, I saw the Ed Helms vacation, which was atrocious at best. How some of you critics were okay with that movie is beyond me. Um... Then I saw the original Vacation, and then I saw European Vacation. Thank you, Coaster Crew. So, I would say this movie is good. It's... I disagree with some people that say it's the best Vacation movie. Um, if you've seen the original vacation, not the Ed Helms vacation, but if you've seen the original vacation, it's similar to that, involving a lot of physical stunts, a lot of pratfalls, a lot of hits to the head, a lot of Clark going crazy, while at the same time trying to have good intentions when the, basically the plot of the movie is, um, he wants to throw a good, a good family Christmas for him, his family, um, his relatives and his in-laws. She says hi. Um, there's scenes with, like, a crazy squirrel. There's a dried-out turkey. There's, um, there's explosions and stuff. There is some, there is a, some profanity for a PG-13 movie, which I think is a little odd. Um, Let's see, what else? Um, I felt Juliette Lewis as Aubrey. I think that's her name, Aubrey or Audrey. Aubrey, I believe. I felt she was very underutilized as the, as the Griswold daughter. And Johnny Galecki was also um, pretty underutilized as uh, Rusty Griswold. Um... Randy Quaid, you know, he was he was okay, but I I personally I wasn't a big fan of his character. Um, and there's and there's some other family members that I also wasn't a huge fan of. They seemed to just serve one purpose, and then they just stayed in the movie. The breakout star, the breakout people, in my opinion, were the rich couple next door, played by Julia Louis Dreyfus, where. Um, even though they were rich, they were constantly, like, being bombarded by, like, a lot of the things, like the lights, by, um, the squirrel, by the dog. Um, I would have, I would, I know there's a sequel with Randy Quaid's character, Eddie Griswold, but I would have loved to have seen a sequel with those two in it. Um... The light scene I thought was pretty funny. Um, even though Kay did see this movie and she did find some jokes in it, um, there were some there were some parts that she didn't like, such as the part where uh, oh, such as such as the part where the such as the part where the um, where they're emptying the uh, toilet into the sewer and it's like turning green and stuff. She wasn't a fan of that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Clark did go crazy, but eh, it seemed very toned down crazy compared to the um, original vacation. I don't remember a whole lot from European vacation, though. Um... Hmm. How can I spread out this review? Um, as is typical with at least the original vacation, 
there's a beautiful woman that Clark has the eyes for. Um, but I would say maybe one of the big, maybe one of the problems with this movie, at least in my opinion, was in the first one, Clark and Rusty, they did have those scenes of like, you know, like trying to be of Clark trying to be a good father to him in this, like there's, they don't, I don't think they talk that much to each other. So maybe, uh, maybe that's because there's more characters in this. Um, I wanted to make a joke that, um, that Eddie talked less about faucets in this movie than he did in the Ed Helms vacation. That's all, that's about all I can say about that. Um, when, when we, when we saw the movie, unlike some of, some of our other things where it's like, uh, I've been going through a thing right now, like, should we upgrade it to Blu-ray or should we just, or should we just donate it? And she kind of seemed unsure about this because she kind of seemed unsure about it. So you're okay. Um, I think maybe it was, it had too many characters, maybe. That might have been a problem. At least in my opinion. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I'm sorry. You guys, I have a cat, so I'm not trying to be mean here, but, uh, there's a, there's a scene with a cat, and it kind of would have... I, I think it would have been hilarious if the cat had kind of like looked like kind of like looked like the uh, cover. That's all I'll say. Um, calm down. We're almost done. Too much reference of Ed Helms, I guess. Um. Wow, I think that's about all I have about this. I need to look up a public domain uh, holiday cartoon to pad this out. Okay. Bye. Um, tune in next time where... Hold on a second. Just smile a little cute. Good girl. Almost done, I promise. Tune in next week when we go back to the world of Disney. Bye. Oh, and Kay will be in, Kay will be in that one. I might have braces in it, I don't know. Oh, well, bye. Stay safe. Once a year when Christmas comes, I pack my sled with stars and drums and I'm on my way with happiness for little girls and boys. For oh, there isn't any place too far, I go wherever children are always on my way with happiness wrapped up in fancy toys. My Christmas list, I've many names and places. So we never seen their faces. We know which one and a good day from. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Over hill and dale again this year, I brought glad tidings and a good cheer. So until another Christmas day, when I pay another call, I'll say Merry Christmas.
We want to do something for Santa, huh? and in our little way, thank him for the happiness that came away. <laughs> Christmas present for me?